Morning. I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Library of Runa. Now, you may notice something weird on the screen. You may notice a minor peculiarity, and that's the fact that we're an urban nightmare now. Despite the fact the last time we were, what, I don't know, an urban plague? Is that what we were? Yeah, we were an urban plague. What the f happened? Well, well, you see, I beat, I beat, I beat the Queen of Hatred. We've actually unlocked the next one now, which I'll get to in a minute. And I also beat Pillip. I beat him first try. I didn't beat Queen of Hatred first try, I'm not that good. But I beat them, and then I had a power cut, which completely destroyed all of my footage and made it completely irretrievable. Now, I've changed a setting on OBS, which implies that I might be able to retrieve future power cut footage and actually, you know, not lose it all, but I don't even know if that's true. So now I'm living in constant fear of power cuts of losing further footage. I'm also still ill. So I really didn't need this, but this is the way things have gone, and I'm not inclined to have you guys miss things. So here's what we're going to do, and we're going to do it in the order in which I did it. We're going to start by having a rematch with the Queen of Hatred, as little as I want to, because I beat her by the skin of my teeth last time, but here we are. I'll try it with the, um, I'll give, I'll give her a go with the decks I've set up for the following fight that I was currently attempting before my power cut out, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fucking redo all of the goddamn decks again to be suitable to beat the Queen of Hatred, which is great, let's get back in there, already won this fight. And I'm probably gonna lose this time as well, because like I said, I didn't win easily. But what are you going to do? This is just where I am now. So, using Arcana Beats on Rene. Uh, Rene's not great at blocking singular attacks, although it marks regardless of whether the attack actually lands or not. But we can do without taking that 6 to 10 blunt damage. So, yeah, we might be able to work with this. We throw in some Trans Pierce, so that might be able to just overpower that. We did unlock the ability by getting to Urban Nightmare to have more key pages, or more capacity in our key pages we can still only have like a certain amount but more cost so that's good so we've got some um i think most of our team have like blind fire or something so they're extra strong in the first term and hopefully we can make use of that so you've got in the name of justice that's very nice well if we hit you with daring decision and cut you off from doing that shit you've got three attacks going that's cool two six four seven four twelve hmm Just go for Scaring Slash for now. Just, just play it nice and chill. And then follow up probably with uh, Clean Up. Now be fine. You've got a zero. Yeah, follow up with that on there. And you've got no zero, so you can't. Let's see what we can do. I'm not surprised. That was all about right. That's good. Rene's going to land big hits. You love to see it. Okay, that's something good at least. And you even countered that attack, which is amazing. So we're just landing big hits. All right, we're doing all right so far. You're now targeting Tifereth, who can't do much to defend herself at the moment, and these guys can't intercept, which means it's time to go all in, just straight up. We're as all in as we reasonably can. So with hard rever rehearsal and that, There'll be a ton of damage and you'll get all of his energy back and that'll be good. Outburst will also restore energy. And then, I don't know, Naya is just extra damage. And Tifra, if you're going to have to tank like a motherfucker, which you're not really going to be able to do because you can't do your big, uh, big moves. But, <coughs> fuck it, man, whatever. Just do your best. You've already failed. You're going to get staggered. It's lit. Yep, you're, you've been staggered. You might even die this turn. Close. And you failed to get through. At least you managed to land those hits. Something has been done. Something. We've done some decent damage, but Tifereth will probably die this turn. We need to try and keep Tifereth alive, although Tifereth will, um... That's a point, actually. We should not intercept Tifereth, because Tifereth has unrelenting, so we should let her take the hit, because she'll be okay. Once per act. Okay, so she gets one chance. One, one chance to come back, and then, and then it's all or nothing. So Arcana Beats will Cracker Dawn could work. But I would rather save Cracker Dawn as a um 
counter to the mass attack, so I think hard rehearsal will be the way to go. You can daring decision that. You can follow up with a taste of this chain. Good, hard rehearsal is still the primary attack, and you can... You've got nothing left to do. You're just gonna sit there and eat hits. It's fine. Can't die. Oh, fuck off. God damn you. You horrible girl. Go away. I hate you. And then you're gonna do Arcana Slave? Is this the one? Yep, here it comes. Okay, well... Two out of three of them are gonna be able to dodge this. That's going to that. This is... Right, uh, yeah, this dice is being hit by Arcana Slave, so Cracker Dawn. Oh, it's a combination of the dice! Oh, it combines the dice! Right, so... Tiff did survive. And then got to use Collision, and that was quite good. Okay, well, notes for the future. Learning more and more about how mass attacks work, you're right? Uh, oh, fucking hell. You can take that out. You can try and block that, but I don't know if you'll be able to do it. And then, I don't know, uh... Ooh, ah, uh, ooh. Nah, uh, not a lot going on there. Okay, well... May as well try and land a hit and return. Fucking hell. Dead. I forgot about the ranged attack and they would go first, so yep, this is a loss. Can I just- just let me rematch, for God's sake. I've already beaten this! I've already fucking beaten it! Why do I have to do it again? Oh God. I'm gonna go to my power supplier and I'm going to kick them up the ass, I swear. So Transpierce is actually not necessary for the purpose in which I have it. Um, scratch that would be a better choice. Because scratch that's uh, loss of power does not apply to mass attacks. Or at least it doesn't, you know, because they're not attacking. They're not using it yet. They're just using the, the dice rolls to determine whether or not we're going to win. It's only after the mass attack in which scratch that actually, you know, goes to swing that the power loss is applied. So, you know, get rid of one hard reverse rehearsal and replace it with a scratch that. And then Rene, Rene, Rene. You lose an outburst and gain a scratch that. Although, honestly, Rene's deck is not... No, there's not even any point setting up Rene for this, because... It's not really how her deck works, you know? Like... She'd be better off just trying for Daring Decision and seeing if that works. It's a good... It's a good card. It'll probably do the trick. Or it won't. And then it'll be whatever. Alright, let's try that again, then. I gain no rewards for doing this, because as I've said a million times, I've already done it! <laughs> God! Arcana Beats. Okay, on you again. Alright, you've got Cracker Dawn. Intercept that. You've got Daring Decision. You can't intercept because you're too slow, okay? Go in on that, I suppose. And then Rene, just swing as much as you can to do as much damage as possible, and that's about what we've got for this turn. I don't know. Throw out a little bit of... Uh, do that so it's actually being countered by something. Wait up. Yeah, I'll let Tifriff take it because she can revive. Okay, fine. Big hits. Big hits. No chance. The problem is the stagger damage from the Queen of Hatred is quite severe, and that's where a lot of our problems are coming from. She also doesn't take much stagger damage either, but we did land some good hits that turn. It helps. Oh, you can't even use hard reversal, that's right. I forgot immediately. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, well, yeah. Well, it's gonna have to be scouring slash then, isn't it? And then you're gonna have to intercept that, because you're the only one who can. Try Ajax. And then you can daring decision that last one. You don't have any more attacks. You do, so... Swing in on there, and you've got nothing, so just go for it, lads. See what you can do. Big hits. 
That's good. Good. Oh, that's good. That's very good. Oh, it's just a flex. We are landing hits. Things are happening. No Arcana Slave just yet. If we can perhaps keep them off of Rene, she would be able to get her energy back in preparation for the next round. But that would require these two really to start pulling their weight. And, like, it's not that they're not pulling their weight, but it'll leave them vulnerable for the next round. You're only going to mark her. She can take that. Okay, she can take that. And she will, because she has no choice. You go have a hard rehearsal. And then follow with a cleanup so you get some energy. You rest, because you have restfulness, because you have Zhongli's page. This works out. Oh, God, come on. Nothing. Big hit. We did fuck all to her this turn. Oh, and Tifrif has no energy. But Tifrif's gonna get fucking obliterated. Okay, good to know. Scratch that. And you didn't even get your good one. Which means you... Uh, it is a combination of all dice, so we might be okay. I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing my best. Did I mention that I'm fucking ill as shit? <laughs> and it's not doing me many favors right now? Because it's true. Those two got hit. Some good hits. Okay. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but those two have been staggered. the world, I need you to block as much as you can. I re that's really what I need from you right now, is I just need you to tank some of these hits. Oh, you can't even intercept half this shit. You can only intercept one attack because your speed is too low. Oh, good. Alright, we'll set it up then so they're only taking one attack each. And follow up clean up so you're doing extra damage. God damn it, she's still alive. She's still alive. And you landed a hit, and it was good. Ah, oh, god damn. So all attacks going in on Rene right now. And we can't intercept, so we shouldn't try. Instead, just swing as hard as we can. Unfortunately, Tifrith can't do anything because her light just isn't coming back. I don't know what to suggest other than to try. You don't have many options. You may as well rest. See, Rene is doing quite well. Actually, a lot of damage there. Off she goes. Big hits, big hits. Big hit. Okay, just one more good hit. Would really do it for us if we just got one more good hit. You just need to land one sparking spear, you'll be good to go. You can't do anything this Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, she died to the thing. Okay, cool, good. All right, fantastic. Amazing. All right, well, I've beaten the Queen of Hatred now. You know that thing I already did? Well, I did it again. So you guys would believe me. <laughs> That I didn't cheat. I don't know if you can cheat at this game. I guess there are probably mods that give you, like, infinite light or something stupid like that. But I didn't cheat. I won. I did it properly. Okay? That's that done. All right, that's that specific thing done. Now, we have another thing to do that I've already done. Which is the wedge office. And I still only have one of each book of these, I'm pretty sure. So if I lose, I'm gonna look really stupid. Send the invitation, yes. So, doing this the same way as we did before, I'm sending the, the, the history team. Sending the team of history, you can tell they've done this before because some of them are very conspicuously wearing glasses, but don't worry about that. No, don't worry about how similar those glasses look. This is definitely the first time I've done this. <laughs> Let's hope I can replicate the same result that I got last time. I doubt it, somehow, because life is not that good to me, but fuck it. Let's give it a go.
<clears throat> okay, so we're in. We're all good. One, two, three. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Okay, I think I can work with some of this. Possibly. The bullseye is usually a good shout on the first turn because it does max amount of damage, although he is resistant to pierce. These guys aren't resistant to pierce. Might actually be able to use Yui to take out Philip on like the first turn. I used to call him Philip like as a joke, and now I actually just call him that. Like that's actually just his name. I haven't. <laughs> it's, uh, I've internalized it, and that's all I call him now. Uh, Spear sweep. All right, I think we can deal with this. Ah, uh, just throw in a little collision. Get all your stuff back. It'll be very good. I think she gains um. Yeah, she has snipe, so extra power for the first scene, so she can land some big hits quickly. Um. We'll start out Malka first. We're using Collision, which is really, 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 really annoying. But Malkith does gain Pierce. Oh, then again, she gains Pierce Dice Power as well. They both gain Pierce Dice Power, so that cancels each other out. And Collision is a really good card. Stab and Detonate only provides extra value to the next dice if the first dice wins. But well, we can assume that uh, Pamela's collision is going to succeed no matter what, so we can at least perhaps lower the amount of damage it's doing. And work from there. So you're using Sparking Spear for that one, maybe... Ah, see, he doesn't have Wedge. Interesting. Which means... I don't think he has Wedge. Anyway, hang on. No, he has Wedge. Fuck me. Alright, well, never mind. Uh, do your best. <laughs> Fuck it, just do your best. Let me see if you can sharpen blade the high speed stabbing and make something work there. Let's go for it. Big shot to Pillip. He doesn't like it. Minimal damage to Yui, it's fine. You reduce the damage and manage to inflict bleed and burn in return, it's fine. I guess that's fine. Good stuff, good stuff. Eva's always repping the team. Yes, Lemon. Yes, Lemon, that was very good. Very happy. Alright, well, we have a start. It's a good thing that you're not being targeted, Yui, because you rolled a 1 and you have 1 light. Eh, mm. Although you could do with more clashes, actually, to get your emotion up, but... I don't have the power to actually make that happen. We're not going to be able to stop Transpierce, that's not possible. Not the way we are right now, which means we just have to make the best of the situation knowing we are going to get hit by it, right? Plan around the fact that it's going to happen because it will, rather than fretting over it. Try a stab and detonate on there. And go in on that, and then you can just, I don't know. Cumulus Wall is relatively wasted when she's not going to be using it to intercept anyone, but she would be landing a hit, so it would help. See what you can do. That's a big fucking hit, Jesus Christ. Good. Good, Lemon, that was perfect. That was a big hit. That's not great, but it, it happened. We have to plan around it rather than getting upset about it, I suppose. That was a solid exchange. That worked out, although I guess Yui took unnecessary fucking... Uh, uh, stack of damage, but it's fine. But she did get a clash, actually, so that was good. That was really good. She can use going for the bullseye and knock someone out. Especially with the, uh, with the happy teddy bear thing she just got, so we can actually work with this. You're going for Malkuth. Okay, and your stagger is at 14. You're gonna be the easiest one to stagger. Go for the bullseye. Eva, you can intercept someone. We might have to leave Philip alone for now because they've lost one dice, we've lost two. Right, so we're actually down one right now. Two attacks going in on Lemon's back. Ah, it's really inconvenient. Go for them, do that with that, and then do that with that. Yes, I think that's worked out. Give it a go. Big shot, she staggered, very good. Big hit, big hit, minor hit in return. Lemon, that was not great. Lemon, that was not great, but that helped. Ashes on Lemon. All right, we can make it happen. I've already made it happen before, it's the frustrating thing. I've already done this. Why am I doing it again? I don't want to do it again. But it is what it is. I just gotta do it.
spear sweep. I mean, the only thing you can intercept with is that, unless Malkith has something, which she does. Tailoring. And then we can focus the remainder of our attacks on making sure these two... Well, she dies and he is has used up Unrelenting. That's the best thing we can do. And we'll see what we can do with that. Big hit. No damage. Big damage. Big hit. Okay, we are making it happen. Alright, we're nearly there. I don't think uh, Oscar's Unrelenting was activated, which means he's still going to be a pain. Lemon's run out of cards, which is a huge issue. You can go for the bullseye on them and basically knock them out. Don't have to worry about her no more. Philip is continuing to be an issue. Philip, get out of here. You're being annoying. Uh, uh, still ill, by the way. <laughs> In case you hadn't noticed. Okay, high speed stabbing. One good hit would put her down. One good mend weapon would take her out. You can contribute <coughs> contribute to that. You ain't got much to do other than that. Give it a try. Oh god, how did she deflect it? Oh, that's the worst way that could have gone. There we go. Not good. Not good. Now he's done his uh, Relentless, which means he's out of that now. Now who's low on health? Uh, Eva. Eva needs health. Yui can take out Oscar. You just kill him straight away. Uh, Cumulus Wall might work well against them. Tailoring can take out Pillip. Eject should be able to take care of them. Theoretically, we should be able to end the fight right now. There we go. He's gone. She's gone. That should get him to back off. Yep, he's out. And that's all of them. All right. That was the first round. That was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. <laughs> yes, Pillip, you're very upset. I know. I've seen it before. Multiple times. <clears throat> so, Pillip, in his second phase, I've beaten this before. The way I did it, I don't know if this is the right way to do it, was to basically overwhelm him. Hit him with so much shit as early as possible that he got staggered and then we just stamped on him while he was staggered and got his health to zero. That's basically how we did it. We didn't let him get to his blazing slash attack, which does like 40 damage or some ridiculous level of damage, right? We basically ignored the burn from, um, from Feather Defense or whatever the hell it's called. We just went in on him. Now, I don't know if it's going to work this time. I'm going to be very annoyed if it doesn't, because I don't want to waste too much time on this. That's right, fight for you, Philip. You can actually you can't do it. I don't want you to do it. I want you to lose so I can fucking win. But you can do it, Philip. I try I believe in you. Alright. So this is quite a tough phase, obviously. Um, it's a boss fight. But... What we did before was we just dumped so much damage on him that, you know, his, his stagger resist just went down to zero, basically. And I think we can pro potentially replicate that again. So you can go for that. Lemon does gain increased uh, chances to hit with Sharpened Blade because it boosts the Slash Dice power by 2 for this scene, which basically bumps it up to 3 to 5, which is decent, but not quite enough, really. But he'd probably break through. However, if he stacked Sharpened Blade, he'd be bound to break through. Yes, because the 6 cost will go in first. 
and won't be met with any resistance, and that's the weaker one of the two. Then the four will come in, and presuming I'm understanding the situation correctly, would stack the power bonus to slash attacks, giving the second one an increased chance of actually winning. I don't know, I'm winging it. I'm just going for it, I'm just doing my best. Collision. Eva has actually gotten high enough emotion to have two speed dice, which is insane. We might want to set up something different. There's something similar here, actually, perhaps. Go for eject. To lower the costs, and then go for... Coll Although collision gain restores light upon clash wins. Yeah, so we're actually going to want to... Want, want, want that to go for... Yeah, 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 yeah. How does that... I don't care. Whatever. Fine. We'll set it up the way the game wants us to. You have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that I'm not on par right now, so I might do things that don't make sense or make decisions that are not optimal, and you should know why. Just swing at him as hard as you can. As many, as many high damaging hits as you can. Big shot. That's good. Big hits. He's already down to 70 stagger. Yes, down to 50. Yes, 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 down to 35. Big hits, big hits. Keep going, don't stop. He's already staggered. And then another hit for good measure. Now obviously we've got a lot of burn now, because that is the nature of this, but as long as we just keep dumping damage on him as much as we can, Sadly, Malkov can't do much, but... Clean up makes the most sense. You can go in with, e with Eject and Mend Weapon just in case you need to fight another round. And just dump damage on him. Big hit. Big hit. 173. Good. Good. Oh, big damage! Yes! 79. Good. Good. 51. Additional 22 damage. He survives another turn. He's only got 10 health left. Oh, he just... Oh, yeah, he retreats. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I've beaten both. All right. I've beaten both twice. Lest y'all thought that I was not sincere nor honest. Obtain two copies of Combat Page Searing Sword. So now I have not I don't think I got Searing Sword last time. I think I got Feather Shield. But the point is, in case you thought I had... Cheesed it, or that I had lied, or I had cheated, or I had stealed, or stolen, or nothing. No. Beating them both legit. And actually, Lemon fell last time in the process of the final battle and didn't get Imperfect Ego, so now he's got it as well. And we got a bunch of these books, which are actually really good. So, in the grand scheme of things, it was actually beneficial. There we go, extra HP, good stuff. So, history team, a lot stronger than they were last time, actually doing very well for themselves now, probably because I've given them a better, uh, set of cards and stuff and actually spec them out for it. Eva is off to a fantastic start, I must be said, doing very well. Let's try and get some of those new books. Because we did get some, and these, um... Th these Wedge Office books, they sure are spiffy, although I did grind them off screen. Um, so, you know, I've actually gotten most of what I need out of them, but still. More, more combat pages is always nice, right? It always helps. Oh, that's really helped. That lemon water has really helped. There we go. Okay, now. We'll go to the credenza real quick and just watch back what we missed. Because, you know. Oh yeah, we can go post-battle as well, because we didn't, you guys didn't see that. I know, I can't believe he escaped again. I thought for sure, I'm, I, I actually think less of him now, I have to say, that on this occasion he did not stand and fight to the end. Like the previous two, the first time I'm like, okay sure, I understand. The second time I'm like, bit iffy Philip, but you know, I understand the cowardice, but now, now that he's achieved his big ego form and still ran away, I'm like, nah buddy. I, I, I've lost the respect. That was his moment to fight and die, and, and he didn't do it. Mate, you haven't even seen mimicry. Let me tell you. Egeo. 
애고인 것 같아 이지오 애고? 자아를 말하는 거야? 티잡지 않은 말장난이야 본질은 같아 자아의 껍데기 마음을 실체화한 거야 뭐 마음? 마음을 실체화한다고? 그런 두루뭉실한 현상이 실제로 가능한 거야? Rollins, mate, we had piles of that stuff in Elcorp. Like, we were literally, you know, we were using ego equipment as doorstops. We had so much. Elsa 특이점이었어. 좀 다르긴 했지만, Elsa는 의도적으로 추출해냈다면, Philip이라는 사람은 백야 흑주의 영향이겠지. That's a fascinating concept to me, of course, is that, as people have mentioned, White Nights and Dark Days allows people to manifest their ego, and I'm like, what kind of fucking bullshit? Uh, uh, results are going to stem from people manifesting weapons and armor from their very mind as thanks to this. If Rollins does end up doing that himself, and it'd be very cool if he did, do not confirm it for me even subtly, because I don't want to hear it. But if he does, what would he get? It would be so cool. I hope he does. What if Angela would as well? What? 그럼 저런 힘을 돈도 안 바르고 마음에서 마구 뽑아낼 수도 있는 거라고? Hey, I prefer it's probably a little more complicated than that, but yeah, basically. 나도 직접 발현한 것을 본건 처음이니까 그렇게 닥달하지는 마. Usually, I don't fucking know. It could be anything. 전 궁금하면 그 녀석이 도망치게 두지 말았어야지. Yeah, why should I let him get away? 그 할배가 그런 장치를 달아뒀을 줄이야. 여전히 솔직하지 못하네, 오스카는. Old man Oscar is a chump. Just because he looks like a bloodborne hunter doesn't mean he is. 나이 많은 친구들이 여러 있나 봐. 그야 구를 대로 구른 늙은이들이니까 해결사이라면서 얼굴 한두 번은 받지 않겠어? There we go. Uh, we're almost caught up. Not quite. Almost caught up. Dream has been shattered. The tower has collapsed. It is bad. Probably. I don't know. Might be. Whose dream was it? Which tower is it? 이로써 엘사 백야의 흑주 뒤틀림 그리고 도서관. Interesting. When you watch this for the f 이네 가지 요인들이 하나로 묶여. I'm sorry to have talked over you there, my friend. But interesting. The last time when you see this for the first time, there's like a haze over the screen, and like I was able to, I I could see last time that it was the Hana Association. That was the location, like the Southern Branch. I could see this. But it was all hazy and it was a little harder to read. But now I can confirm that it is the Hana Association. So these are big people. 설마했어. 도서관이 백야 흑주의 열쇠 중 하나일 줄이야. It feels fairly obvious from inside the library, so maybe I should cut you guys some slack. 특정할 수 없던 도서관의 위치 또한 드디어 관측을 완료했지. 도서관의 위험성이 올라갈수록. As if it's trying to entice people to come in and to let us turn them into books. 안개로 자욱한 엘사 둥지 속 신기로 같이 일렁이는 도서관. There's a fog. 모두가 다가가려 했지만 어느새 길을 잃었지. That explains why people don't just walk in. 우리도 곧 준비하는 게 좋을 거야. 그 환상은 안개가 거치며 점차 현실이 되어가고 있으니까. And eventually, I guess we will be taking walk-ins. 그렇다면 그래. 공문이 내려왔어. 오늘부로 도서관은 하나 협회 본부에서 도시 악몽으로 지정했어. An urban nightmare. 가까워지고 있는 것 같아. 무엇에? To breakfast. 그야 네가 원하는 oh, 자유라는 것에 가까워지고 있냐는 뜻이지. 모르겠네. 그래도 단 하나의 책은 완성되어 가고 있어. One book to rule them all. 그 책만 있으면. 네가 원하는 모든 일을 깔끔히 해결할 수 있는 거야? I know, probably. This place can do a lot of wacky things. 도서관은 말 그대로 무한한 가능성을 지닌 공간이야. 존재 가능한 모든 철자를 책으로 새기지. 하지만 그저 가능성의 파편만 모아두면 쓰레기일 뿐. 무수한 가능성 속에서 나에게 필요한 단 하나의 책이 만들어지도록 엮어주는 게 초대장이야. 초대장이 이끄는 대로 책과 빛을 엮다 보면 단 하나의 책을 완성할 수 있을 거고. Seems legit. 구하고자 하는 모든 답이 새겨진 책을 만들 수 있는 거지. 확실히 이론상으로 불가능한 건 아닌데. 이론적인 가능성에만 목을 매고 있는 건 아니야. 단 하나의 책을 만드는 과정에서 
도시의 여러 면을 보고 배울 수 있었어. 이 또한 의미가 있지. I guess she does read every single book we bring in, so she probably has quite a lot of knowledge by now, but yet lacking first-hand experience, so it's kind of stilted knowledge. 그리고 다시금 깨닫는 거야. 책이 없으면 이 도시에서 답을 구할 방법이 없다는 걸. 도시에서는 답을 구할 수 없다고? 도시의 사람들로부터 비롯한 여러 책을 보며 알아낸 것이 있어. 도시에서는 누구도 자유롭지 못해. 다들 어딘가에 묶여 있지. 하고 싶어서 할수 있는 일은 존재하지 않는 것 같아. 해결사는 사무소의 명령을, 사무소는 협회의 명령을 받고 목숨을 던지지. 조직도 다를 것 없어 보이고. Free will is a lie. We are all beholden to something. 다들 어디론가 향하고 있지만. 정해진 목적지는 없어. 이는 자신이 결정할 수도 없지. 흘러가는 대로 떠밀려서 향하고 있을 뿐이야. Well, it is kind of the hopeless. It, the city is a very hopeless place, and it does kind of engender that idea of like, oh, if I keep doing this and get really good at it, then things will probably be good. I guess I don't know. Like, you know, it's not. People don't know enough to know where they should be going. I guess. 도시에서는 돈만 있으면 자유든 뭐든 원하는 것을 얻을 수 있을 텐데. The problem, hmm, it's an interesting problem, and it's one that you and me and most people, it's a quote-unquote problem we're probably never going to run into. But say, let's say tomorrow, right? You got a boatload of cash, just an ungodly amount of money, more than you could possibly fathom in terms of money. Just you never have to work again. You don't have to do anything ever, ever again, really. There's nothing you are required to do. You could hire people to do everything you need to do. You don't need to work. Money. You are set. You are sorted. There is nothing left that you need to do. Now, going by my own understanding of how I would be in this situation, for the first, like, I don't know, month, half a year, a year, maybe two years, an ex a period of time at the very least, it would be fucking incredible, because you just go do whatever the hell you wanted. Anything and everything you ever imagined you wanted to do, you just go do it because you could, because you had the means and you had the time, right? And it would be great. But after a while, you'd be left just like, what do I do? What do I do? I don't need to do anything. What do I do? What do I spend my time doing, right? Like, what do I spend my days doing? I don't know if any of you guys have ever spent an entire day playing video games and doing nothing else, but it doesn't feel great at the end of the day, right? Like, that lack of productivity, the lack of having done something productive does not feel good. Now, that's probably due to how we've been conditioned to think that we must always be doing something productive. I have unfortunately, in the process of making this channel, kind of conditioned myself into feeling like I need to always be doing something productive. And while that's not great, it does also mean that I do work very hard on the channel because I, I want to do it and I feel intrinsically that I need to do it, so I do do it. And indeed, if I had all the money in the world and didn't need to do anything, I would still probably do the channel because I enjoy it so much. It would give me meaning. In fact, I'd need to do it even more because it would give me meaning in an existence where I can't find any meaning. Now, I imagine the reason why none of us would be able to figure out what to do with ourselves if we were given unlimited freedom and, then, and, and freedom from obligation, as it were, the reason we wouldn't be able to figure out what to do is probably because we've been conditioned into a society in which we have to find something to do. We need to be productive. We need... Uh, a weight, a sword dangling over our heads to keep us motivated, but it's unfortunate because true freedom just brings more questions. Have you ever played a video game, and there are many out there that are like this, where it just lets you do anything, I mean anything, do whatever you want, there are no pointers, no, no direction, just Here's a world with some gameplay mechanics, go do whatever you want. After a while, you're just like, well, what do I even do? Some people, even straight away, just go, what do I do? Like, what, what am I actually here for? Why am I here? What am I doing? Unfortunately, purpose, in many cases, does need to be provided. So freedom is questionable, but there are different interpretations, different definitions of what freedom is, depending on the context. Absolute freedom is like I just described, where you don't, you're not beholden to anything and you truly don't need to do anything. Freedom in this context could simply mean not being beholden to higher up fixer offices or associations, or even just to the, the district that you're stuck in, or even to the city, maybe just having the ability to leave and strike out somewhere else, even though this is the only bastion of human society. I don't know. 
I don't know enough about the world to really conjecture your eyes on that. That's a word. I'm ill, you can't make fun of me. But it's an interesting thought, nonetheless, but... I fear I'm waxing lyrical a little too much. People prefer what they... Even though they might not necessarily consciously prefer it, people subconsciously prefer what they know and what they're used to. Which is a problem. And this is also make this also makes sense because individualism in the city is highly discouraged. We learn that through the rat books. I still need to do more of those book readings, Jesus Christ, but through the rat's books that like being an individual in the city does not get you far. Not unless you are an absolute badass like the color fixers. If you are um, horrifically powerful, people will just gang up on you and kill you. Like being a be like I said, being an individual is highly discouraged in the city. And that's why people prefer to define themselves by organizations or syndicates or whatever. Or even being the rats. The rats were happier being rats than not being rats, because they were like, well, the alternative is to be all by myself and get bodied by the first person to look at me sideways. <laughs> The disease of the mind. I'm not sure such a thing is so easily cured. Ironically, yes. The role she was clearly happy to fulfill. I can't really say I blame you. Nate Unfortunately, in his eyes, the thing you did wrong was not be common. It's really all you can say in response to that. If you want to do Chiruan what else can you do? I don't think looking on the bright side is going to help much here. True. I don't think he said it in those words, but I don't know. Yeah. 
모든 걸 머저리라도 기억할 정도로 오랜 시간을 반복했어. She did close her eyes a lot in Mob Corp. Now that you mention it, in fact, she had her eyes closed a lot of the time. I always thought it might have been a stylistic choice, but no, there was a reason for it. 심지어 그 모든 게 아주 느리고 천천히 기억에 스며들어 한번 스며든 건 잊지도 못해. 아직도 생생히 기억나니까 그렇기에 어떤 매듭조차 짓지 않고 떠나버린 그 사람을 용서할 수 없어. I mean, you know, obviously what we're sat here listening to right now is a one-sided story. We're not hearing anything of A's perspective of it, but I do still remember being surprised when I initially beat Lob Corp and just being like, where the fuck is Angela? <laughs> right? Like, the last few... Bearing in mind, she's there the entire game. Every single time you beat a day, there's Angela. It's Angela again. Angela again. Every time you do a, uh, a Sephira suppression, she's usually involved in some of the cutscenes that leads to their meltdown. She's there the entire fucking game, and then last four days, disappears. And then the ending, before the stinger at the end of the credits, she just doesn't exist. She's just not there, and you're like, what? She's, I like, I always thought that the final boss for Lob Corp was going to be Angela. I always thought she was going to be the final core suppression that was needed to be done, but nope, she wasn't given that, and she wasn't even given a goodbye. It was just like, all right, Angela, you did your thing, and then nothing. So I can understand the, uh, I'm not sure how I describe this, but I can understand it. There's not a lot to say in this situation, Roland. But it's better to think about it. He's a very, he's an empathetic guy. But he does want to leave. Oh, I nearly clicked skip. 그래도 점차 변해가는 내 몸을 보면 어디론가 향하고 있는 건 확실해. That's true. That shit with the musicians of Bremen was fucking nuts. 기계 덩어리였던 내 몸에 살이 붓고 피가 흐르고 있어. 단 하나의 책에 도달하려면 아직 멀었지만. 혹시 사람이 되어가는 건가? Are you becoming a human? 아직 완전하지는 않지만 그런 것 같아. 어쩌면 이 길의 끝에. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. And that's even without introducing alcohol into the mix. Interesting. We have one more fucking goddamn fucking cutscene to do before we can actually do anything relatively new, and it's not even new, it's the thing I was trying at the end of the last one before, the power cutout, and that's Tifrith's cutscene, which you guys miss. <sighs> this is not that, and that is not this. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think she did that to make them seem more complicated than they are, and you open them up, and it's just the hungry caterpillar and Harry Potter and shit. That's true, all these books are basically Twilight. 그러고 보니 도서관에 굴러다니는 책 대부분은 완성된 문장이 별로 없었지. 보는 사람에 따라 책의 완성도를 결정하는 거야. 처음부터 불완전한 책도 있지만 읽으면 사라지는 책과 사라지지 않는 책의 차이도 그 완전성과 관련 있는 거야? That is a good point that they've just mentioned though. Like if you take someone down and turn them into a book, if their mind is completely fucking shattered, how much do you get out of that? Like what is the book like? that you get from that, that, I think, ignoring the fact that gameplay-wise it would be difficult to have Tamari's, um, to have Tamari to, to have a key page, like a, you know, one that you can equip, but in lore, I feel like that's a reason why you wouldn't get Tamari's key page. I don't think you'd even get a book from Tamari, I think you'd just get scattered pages, which would be its combat pages. 
maybe I'm reaching a bit there, but that makes sense to me. You know, that it would explain a lot because Teneri was at least, it's, well, I don't know, once you get them down to uh, a certain amount of health and uh, Tommy's head fucking explodes and Mary's the only remaining mind within the body, they do start to become more lucid. So that could have become a book. But I don't know. Ah. That's fucked up, by the way. I don't know if any of you knew that. A bunch of people told me that when you get um, to marry down to a certain amount of health and the, was it, dermal armor or something, whatever, that effect kicks in and they scream. That's because Tommy's head has died and Mary is now in complete control. And if she wins, she's like, oh, fuck, I'm alone. Which confirms to me that the most tragic ending to that fight is to lose with Tamari at low health, because then Mary would have to go back to the train alone, mentally, which is just the worst. Yes, I have been so afraid. Book has been read, so off it pops. Oh, See, the end result here makes sense, but the comparison you used is a little iffy, Roland, I have to be honest. But it does check out. <laughs> Stop with your bullshit. I'm having enough trouble as it is. It just works. Mr. Todd of Bethesda would love it. That is annoying. Way to justify me grinding for books over and over. 잘은 모르겠지만 네가 말한 빛의 특징이 싫진 않아. 바라봐 주는 것으로 바뀔 수 있다는 건 조금 낭만적이니까. It's romantic, I guess. 에녹도. It was all you could do. Eno? Eno? Uh, Roland, stop. Roland, no. Roland, no, don't. No, Roland, no. Bad idea. She will kill you. Enogun. Pick up on the room, Roland. Read the room. There's a lot of books in here. Try reading one. Oh. Oh, Roland. I'm pretty sure Enoch was her brother as well. So, everything you're saying is just the worst. I appreciate she doesn't even bother to correct him on that front because it's like... It's not the most important thing in the moment, really. It's the fact that Enoch died. Enoch is gone, right? And he's making stupid jokes. I'm surprised how calm Tifrith is about it. Uh, uh, whoops. Oh, uh, Roland started again. Bro. You should. Well, as long as the library turns out well, presumably everyone's sacrifice will not be in vain, but I don't know. I'd like to think so, but that happens a lot. Yeah, it makes brain things real. 
맞아. 물리적으로 발현한 마음이 다시 비정형의 상태로 사람들에게 스며들 수도 있는 거야. I don't know if that's specifically. Actually, I don't think that is in Kathleen. But that explains how they were going to try and heal people's minds. Well, 그럴 수도 있겠네. 로보토미사는 도시 사람들의 병든 마음을 치유하기 위해 빛을 모았어. Makes sense. 물론 겉으로는 에너지 회사라는 명분이 있었지. 날개가 될 정도로 에너지는 어떻게 모은 거야? Pretty. 사람으로부터 끄집어낸. It was slightly less direct than that, but pretty much. 특이점의 부작용으로 환상체라는 괴물들이 생겨났거든. 환상체라는 존재를 관리함과 동시에 환상체는 에너지를 뿜어냈지. This is what. 엔케팔린이 바로 그거야. This is what confuses me, right? Because Enkephalin is the energy, right? That's literally the power used to power things. But then it's also a drug. And like one used in medicinal cases as well. Like it's abused, you know. As, as drugs tend to be, but it's also something used for medicinal purposes. But it's also a form of energy. What? Enkephalin 전지가 괴물에서부터 나온 거라고? Literally, yeah, literally batteries. 진짜. Enkephalin lighters로 여러 번 담배 피우면. Enkephalin lighters, and people would take this stuff. 엄밀히 말하면 사람이지. 사람이 환상체가 되었으니까. And it turns out the drugs were people. <laughs> Kind of. 인간의 마음으로부터 나온 괴물이란 건가? 그 괴물들을 관리하는 과정에서 보나마나 직원들은 죄다 죽어 나갔을 거고. Oh, more than you can count, and I know you can count pretty high. 맞아. But. 그렇게 로보토미에서는 엔젤라가 말하던 무대가 펼쳐진 거야. I accidentally right clicked, but I don't think I actually skipped any dialogue. 도시답구만. 사람을 치유하기 위해 사람을 줄 창출해 대던 회사. 거의 뭐 날개 들어 있는 괴담의 클리셰야. Pretty standard by this point. 난 다른 날개들에 대해서는 잘 모르지만 역시 그렇겠지? Nope. 그렇고 말고. They're absolutely 100% pretty much the same. Just take a look at the train. 그 반복을 끊고 싶었던 거야. No, that was probably an accident. Merely. 그 반복을 끊을 수 있게 해주는 게 바로 빛이라는 거군. 강제로 사람들을 세뇌하려 한것 같은데. Yeah, we're using light to brainwash people to bring me Mars bars whenever I get hungry. 그런 단순한 얘기가 아니야. Well, I mean, it could be. 그거야 뭐 생각하기 나름이지. Like lights and stuff, you get it. We're doing a callback. 나도 이런 큰 줄기만 알아. 그래서 나도 보고 싶어. 정말 이런 반복을 되풀이하고 있는지. 엔젤라와 마찬가지로 세상에 대해서 아는 건 별로 없거든. 맡겨만 주십시오. 앞으로 티페리트 양을 위해 적당한 책들을 가지고 올 테니. 흥, 그런 말보다는 행동으로 보여줘. I'm glad those two get along. They had a funny introduction, and they sometimes clash a little bit. But oh, oh by the by, over. Ah, did I forget to load this with? Yes, Tiff, you have your equip. What? Hmm. Maybe I forgot to load it with mods this time. I'll be back. Interesting. So I initially kind of assumed slash thought because I didn't read it properly. The unrelenting basically made you invulnerable for the turn that you take lethal de take a lethal blow. But as it turns out, it actually reduces the damage by 25, which means if you could land an ungodly strong single hit, like a big single hit, you could actually kill someone with unrelent who has unrelenting. That's interesting, and considered that. Alright, so now, ladies and gentlemen, we're caught up. We're back to where I was when the power cut happened and I wanted to bury myself. Which is... The Night of Despair. Now, I've been kind of struggling with the Night of Despair because I find I just run out of energy and cards. I've tried to build my decks around this a little bit more. With these current decks, but I just... Can't quite get it to work. I think maybe for Tifrif, instead of Eject, she should have Sparking Spear, so she's always getting cards. Try that. I don't know. I don't expect to beat the Knight of Despair. I really don't. I'm going to give it a couple tries, and if things don't work out, we're going to make some story progress instead. But 
I've already looked through all of the passives and stuff, obviously, to figure out what's going on, but just so you guys understand, obviously we can't, well, for those of you who haven't played, honestly, we can't attack the Knight of Despair straight away, cannot be targeted, does not act, gives tears to one of the three swords, which gives them a bonus speed dice and also way more interesting attacks. However, when a sword with tears takes lethal damage, the Knight of, or, you know, goes down to lethal health, lethal blowers away, if it would die, uh, the Knight of Despair goes into despair, funnily enough. And when that happens, all three swords change their attack style. And then, if uh, um, if we manage to uh, stop them from doing any damage to us during that time, they will impale the Knight of Despair, which will then leave not only does it do damage to her, it leaves her vulnerable for us to attack her for a turn. She basically gets staggered. Now I can get her staggered once and dump a bunch of damage, and I get I've gotten her down to like below half health. But after that first stagger, I just start running out of light and cards, and I just can't keep up. And it starts to deteriorate from there. I'm hoping I can change things, but I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. Really, the goal, I suppose, is to try and focus fire one of these and take them down. Get into the despair state quickly, so we can start capitalizing. But this sword sharp with tears and sword laced with grief attacks are quite dangerous. The, damage, the, dice, deal, the die deals damage equal to dice value times 2% of target's max HP. Which is rough. Now you can absolutely take care of them, that's not an issue. You can intercept that, that's not an issue. In fact, Feather Shield would be perfect for it. You can follow up with one of Taste of This Chain to get some of your energy back. And the Clashes will allow for Emotion Coins, which is good. That's a 3 on 3, which means Emotion Coins for days. Want to Taste of This Chain, get some of your energy back. And then you just need to contend with this thing. Which by yourself is hard. <sighs> You're gonna take two hits regardless what you do, because you've only got two attack die two attack cards. So that one because it's most likely to have the most successful clashes, which will get Tiffra for her energy back. I forgot to read the things, I'm really sorry. It's because I've already done it. So I'm not looking at it anymore. All that remains is a hollow weathered pride. Let's give it a go. That's not good. That's really bad. That didn't go well at all. That's better. That is better. This was superior, yes. That's very good. Oh my god, that couldn't have gone better. Wow. And everyone got their energy back. Everyone's at, uh, everyone's at one. And now we've got the um, Queen of Despairs cards to use, which I didn't get to go through this time, because as I mentioned, uh, I already did it. So, Rene typically uses offensive die, so she's the best for that. Tell me if anything bad happens, okay, I know I can help you. Uh, nothing was truly upheld on my watch. All of it has perished. It's very bad. But this track is bumping. Did I mention this track is bumping? Because it is. Faded face. With pride. Okay, they're both going for Tiff, but we can change that. Ah, oh, it's so good. I love it. Okay, so you've got two attacks, which means you're ideal for Tiff. You're ideal for Tiff. Made for Tiff. Do that. Get your pages back. Because you're going to be using two pages probably anyway to keep your light up. Throw an attack at them. If we can get that one down to zero. We can move on to the next phase. You can counter this. Either with Feather Shield or Hard Rehearsal. Might want to save Hard Rehearsal for a harder uh, exchange, so we'll go for Feather Shield. And we'll throw in Clean Up to bring back the energy. Yep, very good. Change that back. Okay, you're going for that. Rene, you can just absolutely go in on this fool. They will be at zero or one health or whatever by the time this turn ends. Big hit. Furthermore, big hit. Big hits. Actually, they won't be at zero, but a lot of damage has been done. Good job. You actually blocked. You actually deflected one. It was incredible. Wow, that was good. 
All right, you guys are doing good. I'm pleased with all of you. Now, hate has good potential, but the idea of having to lose three clashes in order to make that happen, they just get staggered by the time it's done. So, you can have justice. We could just focus on that one and take it down. You're focusing on Rene. Rene has daring decision and not much else. Go for that. I think the world needs more card drawing cards. I definitely think that's the thing that's required at this point. You can intercept that because then the, da the damage will be undone. The problem is, of course, is that fighting the swords doesn't progress the fight, as it were. We're not doing damage to the Knight of Despair and she will just bring them back after the despair effects have taken, a pl have taken place. And unfortunately, I've played this really badly where we have two swords at low health and we should have just focused on finishing one off rather than equalizing the damage, which has done nothing to help us, which is rough. And the moment one of them goes down to lethal damage, it'll be the end of the turn that the effect takes place, not during the combat, which means we still have to fight, which is bad. Look, we will do it this way for now. There we go, Despair is now active, or it will be next turn. We're gonna take some hits, but it's okay. That's not great. But Despair is now happening, yes. And this is the moment we needed to be prepared for. Heart Tearing Sword, okay, all right. Heart Breaking Sword, Heart Piercing Sword, that's the big one and done. Oh, if only crack it, if only I could reverse that, have, have the, the swing be the first thing that happens, because that would be perfect, but no. 3-7, three, 3-8. Ah, uh, Crack of Dawn's the best bet, isn't it? Although, actually, I think Collision might be the best bet. And then, potentially Crack of Dawn for that. And then, oh, you're going to let us down. Oh, you're going to let us down. Fuck, that's annoying. Oh, well. I don't think we're going to succeed on any of these. No, we did. Okay, it's going to be stabbed by one sword. That's quite good. Rene completely fucked it up. Okay, amazing. We're not going to win this. We're doing too badly already. Alright, surely Daring Decision can take care of that. That would be 4 to 8, which might be the best bet we have for dealing with Heart Piercing Sword, because I don't think we have anything higher. Nope, that's the best we got. Okay, well. We don't have any other choice. Oh, you can't even use it! Oh, God! And yeah, Sparking Spear. And then, the world may as well rest. May as well. Okay, that's another one taken care of. Good. Yeah, that didn't work. Unfortunate. Ah, uh, see, collision would be perfect, but... It might actually be worth doing that just to get- Oh, she doesn't have the light for it, fuck! Daring decision, try again. You need to make it happen. You need to rest. You need to use way up after the fact to start restoring your energy. I forgot that's how it works. I forgot that's how it- I forgot that's how it works. I forgot how ranged attacks work. So Tiff didn't even get a fucking energy, and those- Oh, and Despair's over, we did- Oh, not enough damage. Just gonna fucking start again. We've lost. There's no fucking way. I need to look at this. They've got four dice, we've got six dice. Block what we need to, and then spend the remaining dice dumping damage. This is what we should be trying to do. I might have to completely remake Rene's deck, because I don't think the discard shit is good for this. But everything changed. 
Her blessing was pretty sweet to have. Mm -hmm. She fell to despair after realizing that she couldn't uphold what she vowed to protect. A knight whose pride turned into despair. Yeah, that was no good. Okay, so, Weathered Pride. Problem is, the way Rene is built, that speed dice is pointless because all she does is, like, basically just daring decision once per turn. Yeah, no, it's not built properly. This is the problem. This is the problem that I have. You should actually use daring decision to block that because that's the most attacks. You should sparking spear to block that and then mend weapon to block that. And that's the best we've got. Good. Good. Nearly staggered. That one's burning. Okay, alright. We can get a strong hit on them. They'll immediately go down. Not even a strong hit, just a hit. That's all we need. But really, we need to make sure it lands. Or we're not going to get anywhere. Okay. You can intercept that. Sparking spear. And then follow up with way up. Yeah, beat your energy back. This makes sense to me. You've got one left over. Move that. That. That was good. Good, perfect. That's what I wanted. Excellent. And now that one will go down this turn, and then they'll go into despair. Which might be slightly too early, because I just used some of our best attacks. But it's fine. Yeah, there it is. That's despair. Okay. Unfortunately, the speed all goes down to one, so we can literally choose these engagements as we want to. It does help, but... Uh, uh, it's hard. So that is five to nine. It's actually quite good in Tiferet's hands, thanks to Wedge. And just in case you guys aren't sure, she does have Wedge. Um, and that might be the best chance we have to stop Heart Piercing Sword. But Tiff is also our best opportunity for dealing with a two attacker. And oh god, Rene doesn't have the thing. We haven't come into this turn very well. Three of sevens. Best you got. We don't have to do it all in one go. As long as we get rid of them, they're gone. Try it, but I'm not expecting much. Nope. Wow, really? Come on. Oh, come on! Oh, I was expecting Tifrith to do it, at least. Her attacks are still shit. If we manage to get through this entire despair phase without winning a sing getting a single sword to pierce, then we may as well start again. Five to ten versus three to five. It's just not gonna happen, is it, really? That's the best bet we got. Nope. It's just max damage every fucking time. There we go, that's something. Nope. 
Oh, that did go slightly better. She's been stabbed by one sword. It's a start. You still don't have your good attacks. You're still doing threes. You're running out of energy. I can fucking see it. Best bet we've got. That's three. We don't have any three. Oh, God. That'll at least get your energy back or something. I don't know. Nope. Oh, come on! Yep, it's over. We did 50 damage. Fuck my life. Oh, now you get Daring Decision. It took you sweet time, old lady. God. Give it a try. God damn. Can't even win in fucking exchanges anymore. That's something. It's not enough, but it's some. Oh my god. We're practically out of stagger. Across the board. This is possibly the most frustrating one so far. I hate this. I hate how it's designed. I hate how it plays. I fucking hate everything about it. It just hurts. It's just not fun. Because so much of your time in actual combat is wasted. But you're just sat here waiting for your opportunity to try again. And the whole while you're using up energy and the action economy is just not going in your favor. And you're just watching it deteriorate and there's nothing you can do about it. I've already kind of given up on this one. I'm not even properly trying anymore. And why Why should I bother? Look at what's going on. See, Rene just was bodied in one turn. No, I'm out. Fuck this. Ugh. Ex excessively, uh, in the aggressively unfun, I would describe the Night of the Spares Fire as. That's just not enjoyable. So what we're going to do instead, to round off today, because time is marching on and I desperately don't want to lose more footage, is we're going to three acts. Jesus Christ. All right, this will be a big one then. Um, yeah, we're going to do, we'll do a story. We'll do a new story and then we can be done for the day and then we'll have done it. It'll be cool. Unless we fail, which we might. I'm honestly expecting it by this point. Ah. Oh. 578-2179-8213. These are sweepers with names. Which is not something I was expecting. Do they just speak in numbers? 12915762348. Jesus Christ. 583-209-1953. Oh my god. Six, 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 eight, three, oh, two, four, one, nine, three. I bet this translates to something. Oh, thank god, something's gonna interrupt them, I hope. <laughs> Yeah, fuck knows what's going on there. Who cares? Does it have the form of a language, though? Oh, I'm just that good. Oh. It hasn't been yours alone for a while. These guys are very cool sweepers, by the way. Hmm. 
Roth. So they could they groups of them are considered families. Mother. That'd be quite a war. Yeah, you guys got plenty to eat, don't worry about it. Yeah, I imagine. I played Dragon Age Origins. Wise. Yeah, they did do that. It's only been a week, huh? Huh. Looking snazzy, I like blue in a suit. A Deloop's on the move. I don't recognize that. Up a tear. Yeah, for real. You are an absolute unit, my friend. Why do you think that's a good idea? Ah, information. I like everyone wants. Interesting. Because of course, of course, the reception today was going to be the uh, sweepers. I was just wondering how the hell we were going to logic our way into having sweepers come to the library. Uncle. I suspect there's going to be quite a few of them. So are these people? Yes. 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 <laughs> Seems to be. But are the sweepers people? I mean, important information comes from all sources, my friend. Welcome to the library. Please wipe your feet. 
뒷골목에 쓰레기들이 최근 시끄럽게 떠들어대던 그 도서관입니다. They didn't wipe their feet and now they're dead, so wipe your feet. 머리도 도서관에 올 줄은 몰랐습니다. 환영합니다, 손님. Hello. 안녕하십니까? 당신은 가족입니까? I suppose they would assume that because Angela can speak the same language. 가족일 리가 있겠어요? Yeah, smarmy. 하지만 가족의 말을 사용하십니다. 가족들끼리는 이야기할 수 있습니다. 요즘에는 손님들의 눈높이에 맞게 이야기하려고 해서요. Yeah. 감탄했습니다. 놀랐습니다. 이웃님들 보십시오. 도서관은 어느 곳과도 다릅니다. It's certainly interesting. 지금까지 가족이 아닌 자와 제대로 이야기해 본 적이 없습니다. This could almost be a potentially important moment for relations between the outside world and the sweepers were it not for the fact that we simply want to collect them as books. 가족, 가족, 가족. 끔찍하니까 그만할래? Jesus Christ, Angela. 중요합니다. 가족은 끔찍하지 않습니다. 죄송합니다. 우리는 그저 이곳에 있는 책을 얻으러 왔습니다. 그리고 이 둥지를 감싸고 있는 안개도 말입니다. 아는 게 있으십니까? 책을 본다면 알수 있겠지? 그렇습니다. 얻고자 하는 책만 얻는다면 끝입니다. 만족할 겁니다. Well, there's a whole process with that. 좋아. See, I don't know why Angela's being arsy with these ones. These guys have been nothing but like the epitome of politeness since they arrived. They even wiped their feet. And she has been shitty with them ever since they got here. Now the wedge office, I understand. They were assholes. But these guys, they didn't do nothing wrong. Liquefied flesh, defensive dice power, plus one. Corpse cleanup, whenever a character dies, recover 20% max HP at the end of that scene. These are powerful abilities. On use, restore two light. On hit, recover two HP. Oh, baby, that's good. Wow, that's a one cost. Jesus Christ. All dice the user plays lose two power for this scene. I see. So this would go well with Brawl. 333197. Single use. On use, gain persistence for four scenes. Upon taking lethal damage, 8% chance to revive with some HP. This chance is halved each time the character revives. Interesting. We have two floors to use and three acts to go through. Trash disposal. On use, all offensive dice on this page gain. On hit, recover two HP. Can only be set in the decks of sweepers key pages. Are all of the. That's the only one that's specific. These are interesting and probably quite difficult. I can't send in general works for this. There's just not enough of us. It's been a while. We'll send in... Yeah, we'll send in that sex team. I think it's been a while. We'll see how it goes. Hod will be our trump card if things go really wrong. Our work is to sweep. All is for mother and our family. I see less things to sweep than in the streets. Our work is to sweep. Wanna bet who dies first? Uh, it might be one of us. Okay, so there's going to be a lot to organize here because there are a lot of attacks being thrown around. You're going straight for a big one. It's not a strong attack per se, it just gives you persistence. But that's a bit of a waste on the first scene, isn't it? Uh, Mio, you can intercept this. Trash disposal, that's quite a move. On here, if the natural die rolls a three, recycle this die up to six times. Wow. Some of these cards are powerful. I'm not sure how to deal with them. Like, they're actually nuts. We'll try and focus our attack, see if we can take one down. I don't know. This is going to be tricky. Big shot. No, that's fine. That's less fine, but it is what it is. Wow. 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 That went better. Big hit. Okay. Well, we certainly had some exchanges. That certainly did happen. You're just gonna have to kind of hit someone, I guess. You've got three people coming in on you. Okay, interesting. All right, cool. 
And they're all using trash disposal. Fucking hell. At the very least, if you decimate that one, you might be able to stagger him. Follow up with a taste of this chain. Mmm, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. This looks a bit iffy. A big hit on them might cause them to stagger. Try and go for it like that and then ink over that one, which gets them off of uh, uh, Artorius' back. Weigh in on them. And you have got nothing else left. Okay, see what you can do, guys. That's good. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That was not great. That was pretty good. Yes, that stagger is exactly what I wanted. Oh god, that's not good. Of course, they have a bunch of healing attacks, which uh, makes things really awkward. And we haven't been fighting very well on the whole, so we're getting negative things. We'll go Laughing Powder. Yeah, see, the game doesn't see us as winning right now. Although, it's, the situation isn't that bad. You can absolutely... Yeah, with a bullseye. Stagger that guy, take him out. Pretty sure. Unless you're really unlucky, which does happen and is possible. Decimate that guy. It's an awkward situation, but I'd suggest in the meantime we just focus on taking some of them down. The ones who are still alive are going to get healed. So, I think that's about as good as we can do. Staggered, exactly what I wanted. Big hit. Un uh, not ideal, but it it's... Oh, yeah! But well, we kept our stagger. Eric's fine. He's dead. Book of a sweeper. And now... Oh. Oh, yeah, because he had that persistence shit, didn't he? Go tentacles. Who has pierce attacks? Typically, she does because of her gunshots. Okay, we've kind of taken momentum back. How's their stagger looking? You're most likely to get staggered. I don't know if Headshot will do it, but it's worth a try. Okay, ah, uh, this is really, ah, uh, it's really complicated. I'm running out of energy and cards. It's good hit. Oh God, I really expected that to stagger you. Some good hits though, Mio's doing all right. At least you get healed. This fight really is going backwards and forwards. Okay. You can headshot them and hopefully kill them. We'll see. There we go, that's what we needed. What the fuck? It's ink over, man, come on. There we go. Big hits. That's not surprising. That's good, because we still got the benefits from using that attack. On one side, the attack inflicts enfeeble and disarm, increased by 10%. For three scenes, all allies recover 10% of max HP at the start of the scene. Yeah, we could definitely do with that. Okay, we still have some more fuel. I'm sorry, dear neighbors, we must move on with regardless, yes. This is a tricky scrap. It's a tricky one. Not in the back streets. Lose two power. Cumulatus wall might be able to deal with that. <coughs> might be able. To <coughs> might be able to fend them off. Heavy peaks should deal with them, but we've, you know, played this song and dance before. Feast on them. Get as much health back as you can. See what you can do, lads. That's no good. That's no good. That's a decent hit. Oh, they're still alive. So the thing I'm noticing about these fuckers is that they just 
barely, they rarely go down. They're so persistent, you could say. You could say that they're persistent. Yes, yes, you could say that. In fact, this fight's been going on so long that I think Caroline is out of most of her um, gun-based attacks. It's an issue. Try clean up. I'm running out of cards, mostly. Big hit. We are working them down. Did you get persistent? Oh, god damn it. Well, if we left him alone, his persistent would go away and we could kill him normally. Let's focus on these two instead. Persistent three. Persistent three. So it's, if the higher number, does that mean they've persistented more times and therefore are more likely to die? I don't know. I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Fuck. I'm having a lot more trouble with these guys than I thought I would. And I was already cautious going into this. Fuck it, just wail on them, I guess. We don't have a lot of options. God damn. I promise they get so much fucking health back each time. Okay, you don't have persistent. You will, you will get it this turn, though. You don't have persistent. You can't axe. We're running out of cards and things we can even do. This is exceptionally frustrating, because they just don't fucking go down. There! Fucking hell, another one dead. It only took a million fucking years. And now they're getting dual dice as well, because they've been fighting for long enough, and... Ah! Move stuff out of the way, please, so I can see. Thank you. Fuck it, focus fire. We focus fire from now on. We pick one, and we take it down. God damn. This is the first act. And we are barely hanging in there. What the fuck? Mio is basically gone. Their cards are just, oh, they're kind of better than ours, and, oh boy. That's all we can do this turn, like, fuck it. Down they go, not the worms. There, they died. One more. The music is fucking going mental, because shit's nuts. Alright, next attack. Well, one-sided attacks. Because you can do more with them. There we go. That's what we needed. Now we can take a turn to kick his ass. This has been rough. She's finally got two attacks now. It's helpful. Just go in as much as you can and get rid of them. Big hit. Big hit. Big hit, and they are gone. That was the first act. There are two more. 
We might have to bring Hod in for this. Well, we're going to use the rest of Netsix team because there's no point not doing that. But sure enough, it's just another team of sweepers exactly the same as what we just fought. And we're down a librarian. Caroline's nearly out. Oh. All his mother and our family. The only good news is that we are kind of ahead in terms of, you know, emotion. So that's good, but... I just don't think it's enough, really, to win. So you're going to that. Okay, right. Uh, 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 Silent Mist. To that. Silent Mist. And then you try going for the bullseye on that guy, and it's not going to stop him, but you can try. Just lean in on him and do a lot of damage, if you can. Try, and we'll be tasty, see what you can do. And then that, and then lean in on that guy, I guess, and try and kill him. Lean in on that guy. If we can stagger him quickly, then the rest of the attacks will do massive damage. Big hits. Good. If we can overwhelm them quickly, we can use our initial momentum more to our advantage. Good. Those are both fives. I don't like that. There is something that can be done, though, just not much. A headshot. Uh, no, nah, actually, let's not risk this. Go for a bullseye. And then headshot him. He should be staggered. I don't know if he will be, but he should be. We can work from there. Try feast. I doubt it will work, but... Do your best. And then, Netsik, I need you to take him out. And then use your one remaining attack to do something big. Go for them, perhaps. Big stagger. Good. They should go down very soon. Those are not going very well. Unfortunately, he healed. Not doing a lot of damage. This is where a lot of the issues lie, of course, is the fact that we just can't put them down. They don't stay down. But we need to ensure that one of them dies. I know they've got persistent, but we need to hit them. Or we're just never going to get anywhere. Sure enough, they didn't die from that, but we're following up in such a way that they may well die as a result. And the good news is Artorius can heal himself. There we go, one down. Helpful. We're almost on an even playing field. Almost. The music is bumping, it must be said. Artor we're running out of energy. We're already running out of energy, though. What momentum we had at the start of this has collapsed. And we're running on fumes now already. In some cases, we're going to have to ignore damage and just lean in on doing attacks and hurting them. That's the best we've got. That didn't even work. Do some stagger. At least it keeps them off our back. One of them, anyway. And by not fighting back in some cases, we are kind of preventing them from activating uh, clashes, which prevents them from getting more emotion. I'm, I don't know, justifying to myself, really. Trying to make the best of a bad situation. But what if we just didn't fight them? How about that? You're still alive. You're going- yeah, there it is. Because they get a million follow-up attacks. Thanks to that stupid ability that I hate.
became one power for each page in had, so... One power... Uh, fuck. We need to re- we need to redo these decks a little bit. Now that they're being truly tested, we actually need to think about how we're doing this. That's all we've got in terms of things we can do this turn. I suppose you could follow up with something. That's no good. He's going down. Yep, he's gone. Yep, okay. Well. Uh, yeah. Netsy, I wonder what you can actually do on your own. The problem, of course, is that they are healing in the process of doing this, you know. No, I don't even want to clash, is the thing. I just don't see what else I can do right now. <laughs> I think I'm a, uh, these guys are about done. Good lord. Oh, that wasn't even a one-sided attack. He had something. And they're just getting their health back. The longer this goes on, the worse it gets. And I don't have the capacity to end it. No, nope, next attack will go down before he gets to do anything. There it is. This is rough. I'm gonna have to do more practice. Uh, to be fair, I'm ill and I'm also really hungry, so I don't think I'm operate firing on all cylinders, you know what I mean? You guys did well last time. So I would like to get these guys in. Though I question how effective they'll be. Give it a try. I'm not confident we're going to win this anyway, so I don't think it's worth worrying about too much. Oh, the music's dope, though, isn't it? Let's go. Of course, they've all got their, oh, they've got their light and dual... Oh, no. Yeah, it's exactly the reverse of what happened last time. So you're going to have to go in on them and be fucking real. Beats are so good though, fuck. Alright, better idea. Shocking blow them. You relay them. And you follow up on them. This is about the best I've got, really. Big punch, very good. Big hit and return, not good. Good deflect, that was an equal exchange. Very good, very good, Lily. Excellent, the Lily's coming in. Yes, these are some good, these are some good moves that people are doing. No such luck. All right, we made things happen. Creating a rhythm. We'll give that to Zula because he loves his blunt attacks. We can make Psych happen here. Potentially. I don't know. It's just so hard to fucking kill any of them. Uh, I don't see this. I have to say, we had a decent start, but I don't see this going well. I wouldn't even intercept, so there's no point.
At least stop him from recovering HP or something. I don't know. We're just taking a lot of hits. Good. Oh, Zula, that was not good. Oh, Zula, what the fuck? Jeez, guys, Zaru as well, not Zura, it's different names. I hate, oh, I hate, oh, my hate, I hate these guys. That shit where they can just decide, like, I'm gonna hit you 50 times with this attack and heal every time it lands is fucking agony. You guys are gonna have to go all out, ride or die, because fucking hell. We don't have many choices right now. That's as good as we got. We can at least keep them away from um, Zaru. There we go. One's dead. That went fine. That was quite good. Very good. Another one staggered. No good. God damn, this is rough. Oh my god, it got deflected! Saru, mate, you have fucked it today. That's something. Of course they didn't die, why would they die? That would be too simple. We have someone else we can focus on now, at the very least. Keep them locked up. You're gonna have to Oh, well, we actually can't help you here, really. No, there's no way we can stop them from completing their attacks, so let's not fucking worry about it. Here's my chance. Do as much damage as you can before it kicks off. Go in on them. Oh, that went poorly. That went better. That went a lot better, and they actually died. Amazing. Now take them down. There we go. Okay, another one down. Fuck it. Chained Wrath. Zaru, let's go. You're gonna be the big man. Ah, oh, you can hang in there. Just about. Unfortunately, the sweeper is rolling really fucking high, although not right now. Be his ass, be his ass quick. There we go. Everything's okay. Why did I give that big emotion card to Zaru when he's about to die? Good question. I wish I had an answer for you. I don't. Everyone here, just make him die. Get him out of my fucking sight, I swear to God. Sick of this shit. Lily, just fucking kill him. Just, no, don't use that. No. Use this. Just kill him. He will go down if you hit him enough times. Like that. Okay. And now we have another act. And I think we don't get any more flaws than what we've got. So we'd have to try and win with this. Which we're not going to do. Uh-huh, so, recover two stagger assist on a successful attack, all the benefits of his friends, from the looks of things, better cards, Lila, for two HP on a successful attack, better cards, for the family, Ah, oh, we're screwed. There's not even any point playing this. But it wouldn't be a video if I didn't try. Ah, oh, we're screwed. They are so fucked. Shocking blow would see you off. Why do they- why can't I just say, oh, I'm gonna retaliate when that dies instead of both of it being on that dice? It just means Zaru's gonna die. And that's the way the game likes it. 4+, plus. well, you don't have 4+. plus. So you know what, just go for it as is. 
What will happen will happen. We're fucked anyway. Ah, uh, fucking hell. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, it's gone really badly, actually. And I mean, I, to be fair, if I'd selected Hod's team, I don't think we would have won anyway. Like, Hod's team is good, but I don't think they could quite keep up with this. I need to really evaluate things. And I need to figure out how to have um, decks that will fight well in the long term, not just having quick and easy wins, you know? Like, I focus a lot of these on burst damage and stuff like that, and it's just not working for me. Not anymore. It worked in the early game, it doesn't work now. And you mean, if by some miracle you survive, so I'll throw in an extra hit. And, oh, why don't you do it too? Big hits. Big punch. Off he goes. Ah. Oh. Oh. They're doing their best, but jeez. If by some weird miracle we actually managed to kill one of these, that'd be great. But we're not going to. Straight up, it's not happening. Oh my god. Of course, these guys are perfectly suited to outlasting me as well, that's the problem. They have those defensive dice increases, which really help them out. Yeah, another one down. It's just your sod now. And he is beating the shit out of that guy, but... There's five of... Six! No, five. I can't count. There's five of them. And we just can't really contend with that. Now the music's boring again. God forbid, we were really hype, and now it's just dull as shit. Unsurprisingly, that did not work. Big hits, big hits, big hits, and just take him out. Oh, for fuck's sake, why draw it on for another turn? Go. There we go. Don't take pity on me. Oh. It's unfortunate that I'm going into the harder parts of the game right now when my brain is not working as well as it might normally do. I also haven't eaten today, so I'm really not doing very well, but... Hey. So we have got Hotblade Brawler. We did get a bunch of sweeper books, so that's actually quite good. You know, the game has given us something, and I can go get Sayo and whatever the hell others book again really easily. And the emotion got so high that we actually got a ton of sweeper books. So we have things we can use for key pages. Yeah, liquefied flesh. It's a lot of cost for, well, to be fair, that's the same as Walter's, but it's still, that's very beneficial. And corpse cleanup could be good, although diffy. But some of these cards are really good and will be worth reviewing. Burn more, I need, actually, I can actually burn all of the sweeper books, it occurs to me, because, uh, you know, it's one of the first missions. I kind of need to do it. Then again, I don't need really any more of these, do I? No. I'll review as and when. I'm all over the place, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to sign off here. Thank you so much for watching. I failed to defeat the Night of Despair. I failed to defeat the Sweepers. More practice is required. And also, hopefully, next time I'll be a little bit healthier and my brain will work better and I can make better decks and stuff. But enough excuses for me. Thank you once again so much for watching. Special thanks to Ye Old Man River, Lord Skullington, Jesse Kitty, Aris, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Cow, Paint Barrett Hill, The Frostbite, Quantum Pizza, Monsoon, Swirl, Jumper with Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you so much for watching. So. My attempts to make a dramatic return to the, the, the stage of LP today has been something of a disaster as I wasted two hours on a recording that a power outage killed, and then once I showed you guys everything I managed to do while you guys were gone, I then proceeded to lose to the Night of Despair and lose to the Sweepers. So it's going great right now. Uh, it's really good. I'm doing fantastically. I'll be fine. 
I just need to take a little more time to figure out what I need to do in order to beat these guys. I need to work on my decks, make them better, probably do a big reorganization where I'm just moving decks around teams rather than having all the teams with their own specific decks because I just don't have enough key pages and combat cards for it. But I don't know. I'll figure that out in my own time. Thank you so much for watching. Where happens next time? And we will defeat the sweepers. We might even beat the Knight of Despair. Who knows? Anything's possible. I fucking doubt it though. But if I do, I hope I see you there. Doodles. Goodbye.